Hello everybody, it's Murialda here again, and the Troublemaker has come home finally. So I want everyone to go out and get all of your squeeze, go out and get all of your hmms, and get ready, because we're about to suffer some cuteness overload. Yes, we are. <laughs> so, this is a figure that I ordered a while ago, and she was supposed to come out in February. I'm sure I've mentioned her before, but... You know, delays happen. The reason I call her a troublemaker is she delayed my February order until the middle of March. And it is now April 7th. She was actually released on April 1st. So once again, she got separated from out from the March order, which really sucked. But oh well, she is finally here. Let's go ahead and get this baby open. I'm so excited. She's so cute, and I'm expecting her to be really good quality. And I mean, it's a big, it's a fairly big box for a single figure. Yes, a single figure, no hauls, oh well. So we've got once again the new big Ami Ami card. Put that off to the side, and we have paper. And under the paper, we have figure, yay, in tissue paper, nonetheless. So let's go ahead and get that out. Put the box off to the side. So it's kind of a dreary day, so I'm happy to get her. I mean, it's, you know, April 7th, it's cold out, it's raining, this Flower trees are blooming, the grass is growing, it's going to snow tomorrow. So yay. <laughs> so we will take off the tissue paper. There she is. Yay. So this is Caster Extra, the plain clothes version, also the called I call her the casual clothes version. Um Another name for her is Tamamo no Mai. I had to look that up on the Fate Wiki. Um, she is from Fate Extra CCC. She is manufactured by Flair. This is my first Flair figure, but they're supposed to be like a real high quality line. And she is a 1 7 scale. And like I said, she was released on February 1st. Er, she was. Supposed to be released in February. She was actually released on April 1st of 2016. Happy April Fool's Day. And uh, I ordered her originally on October 10th of 2015. So it's been a few months. And when I ordered her from Ami Ami, of course, I paid uh, 10,920 yen. Which at the time was about $90. But when I pay actually paid for her a couple, like a week ago, she, well, less than a week ago, she the exchange rates had changed and she, I actually paid around $100. Shipping was 2,880 yen or $26 for EMS. So let's put her off to the side for a second. Put the turntable down and put her back on. And do a spin around of the box. So she is in the clear, full clear plastic box. Uh, so there is the side showing the figure. And there is the back. Look at that booty and that tail. And there is the other side with caster. Now we're back to the front. <laughs> there is the top. And there is the bottom with all the information. And just for a comparison, I do own another figure of this character. I don't know anything about her. I don't play Fate Extra CCC. I'm not going to. I've watched Fate Stay Night on Fate Zero, that stuff. But she's never been in those. So... There is my other caster figure. She is manufactured by Fat Company and is a 1 8 scale, so you can see a clear size difference. Yes. 
this the new caster honestly looks to be closer to one sixth than one seventh. Okay, put her off to the side again. So we can focus on the main event. Yes, she's so cute. It's so cute. So let's get her open. I was sitting at work today and just watching the tracking and like, do I want to leave early to get her? Do, do I not want to leave early? And then pictures kept being posted and I'm like, I want to leave early. So I went and got her. So there she is. So the inside of the box has a polka dot pattern, blue, woohoo, who cares. But there she is in her blister packaging. So there's the front of the blister, there is the side of the blister, and the butt view and the tail view, and the other side, and back to the front. Yay, I'm glad she's finally home. She caused lots of trouble, lots of problems, lots of delays. Come on. Come on. You know you want to come out. There we go. Put that off to the side. So we have her base, which is a white disc. It's got the Fate Extra logo and some Sakura petals. She is very pink themed. Bottom is very boring. And then, there she is. Surprisingly, I see one piece of plastic there and one piece of plastic there, and that's all the protective plastic. I actually find that very surprising. And she stopped shaking. She is back heavy. She will not stand on her own. Yeah. She's got a big tail. So let's go ahead and get her on the base. A couple pig holes. There we go. And she's together. She is ready. She is beautiful. She is so cute. I just want to hug her and I want to pet her and I want to squeeze her and I want to call her George. Sorry about that. My inner abominable snowman came out. So yeah, this is Caster. So this is the front view of her. And this is the side view of her. And the back view of her. And the other side. And back to the front. So I keep saying she is so cute. Here's why I think she's so cute. She is. But, I mean, look at that face. It's like so mischievous. Let's bring her a little closer for you. And she has a very nice rack. And the clothes, is, clothes are beautiful. It's like a loose sweatshirt and unzipped down to her belly. She has the short shorts on with the matching stockings. And... Her feet. I actually find these shoes to be very, very cute. I'm normally not a shoe person, but yes, cute. And then you've got, of course, the tail. Very big and fluffy. And maybe you can see her sweatshirt is a hoodie and it's got bunny ears. And she's holding onto her sleeve. And amazing zit tairoki. So, just looking at her, there her hair is very pink, and there's actually doesn't appear to be any shading, but it is sculpted beautifully. It's kind of got that messy feeling, like I mean, she's in her casual clothes. She's just not taking care of herself. She's you know just got up, didn't brush her hair yet, and she's got the very very fluffy ears now i say fluffy she is pvc so it's hard not actual fluffy but it just looks so fluffy she's giving a the little peace sign on her eye pointing to her eye i don't know what the significance of that is so she appears to be a fox girl when i actually looked her up on the wiki it's she's actually a jackal 
yeah. So I'm going to look at her and see if I see any flaws. So I can, s I think I see a little bit of glue there. And like I said, the hair is kind of flat. Her butt has a little, kind of looks like a stain on it. Probably from the lack of protective plastic. Um, one thing I really don't see on her is a seam line. I mean, there's a little bit for her hair, but I don't see like any seams for her arms or her legs. A little seam right there. But you know what I'm talking about. She is so cute and beautiful. And we'll bring the other one up for a little comparison again. Definite size difference. Definite. So this one, she has more clear hair and tail. Honestly, it's not a bad figure. I like it, but it's one of my, you know, least favorites. She's good, but not perfect. Bring them a little closer. And see if we can maybe focus a little bit better. So do a little spin around. Get them a little bit separated so you can see them both. There's the booties. And the sides again. Yay. I don't know if I mentioned this, but she has a very, very nice booty. Focus a little bit on it. And she actually has a little back camel toe, if you are into that type of thing. I'm not the greatest fan of that, but hey, it works. And looking at the shoes again, like I said, they're very, I find them very cute. I'm usually not a shoe person, but her shoes and feet are very cute to me. So yay. I'm glad that she came home finally and stopped causing all of her problems and trouble. So, like I said, this is Caster, the plain clothes version, or the casual version. Uh, her real name, if you want spoilers, is Tamamo no Mai. Uh, she is from Fate Extra CCC, which is a game which I don't play. She is manufactured by Flair and is a 1 7th scale figure. She was released on April Fool's Day of 2016. Uh, and I paid on AmiAmi for her brand new 10,920 yen. Good luck finding her for that price now. She's going for twice that on like Solaris. I mean, Solaris is always overpriced, but other sites she is getting quite expensive. Yes. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to, you know, take the pictures and revel in the cuteness. Luckily, my heart hasn't exploded, but, man, <clears throat> yes. I'm out. Bye-bye.